Hi, I'm Chris from Young Urban Farmers. Today we're going to be talking about how to plant and grow your own garlic. First, you need to get some garlic. I recommend going to your local farmer's market, your local seed company, to identify what varieties of garlic that they have, and one that sounds to your taste and to your liking. Garlic is roughly divided into two different families, your hard neck and your soft neck garlic. Here in southern Ontario, we like to plant hard neck garlic because it's more cold hardy and also because of, in the spring it sends up a scape that we love to eat as delicious garlic scapes. First, you're going to need to separate the cloves from the head or the bulb of the garlic. First, we're going to be taking off the paper wrapper and separating it into individual cloves. You might need to use your fingers to really get into here to try and remove them from the main bulb. If you find that you have some smaller cloves from each head, so for example this clove is much smaller than that one, we're going to set that aside and we're going to eat that. We're not going to plant it because the plants and the growth will not be as hardy and will not be as vigorous. I'm using an earth box container to plant my garlic and wherever you plant your garlic you want to be spacing it six inches apart. When planting, you're going to be planting it about three to four inches deep, ensuring that the tip of the garlic is pointed up and the root point part is pointed down. So in this example, I'm going to use my trowel, I'm going to dig it in, push the soil aside about three to four inches. So you can see I'm getting up relatively high on the blade. I'm going to be putting the garlic in and then I'm going to be covering it up. And we're going to be doing that for the rest of the cloves. I talked about hard neck and soft neck garlic as well at the beginning. Hard neck garlic, as I mentioned, is more cold hardy and generally more suited to our Ontario climate. Many people say that it tastes better, although that's to be debated among the garlic connoisseurs. Soft neck garlic, on the other hand, is more suited to warmer climates. It generally grows a little bit faster, and people say that it stores a little bit better as well. One thing that you don't want to do is to use your supermarket garlic, unless it's locally Ontario grown, especially because many of those imported garlic is treated with different materials to prevent it from sprouting. And ultimately, we want our garlic to be sprouting so it can be grown. Now that we've planted our garlic, we're going to be mulching it with some wood chips, some straw, or some other organic material. Mulch is critical because it helps to keep the moisture into the soil. It helps to keep the ground that the garlic is planted in warm, so it doesn't have that freeze-thaw heaving action in both the late winter, late fall and early spring. And also really helps to keep the weeds out from the garlic area. So that's the basics on how to grow garlic. We're in the fall right now and in the spring we'll be seeing the shoots coming up and having some delicious garlic to eat next year.